Tour Cessna Golf, Juliet, November Papa Lima, ready for straight out departure at runway 27. Cessna Golf, Juliet, November Papa Lima, altimeter 29 decimal 71, wind 171 at 15. Departing straight out approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 27. Well, hello. It's Saturday the 25th of June and we're at Bristol, Bristol International Airport and uh, in a Cessna 152. Uh, there's a particular reason for this because um, my, um, my son's bought me one of those uh, uh, flying experiences uh, so I get to go up for 60 minutes. That's when I can book it. It's been quite hard because of Covid. Um, they bought it last year and uh, apparently there was a huge backlog uh, that uh, couldn't be serviced because they couldn't fly. Uh, people in close proximity in the cockpit of course. So um, this is kind of a trial run but actually we're going to do some exciting things. Um, this will be quite a long flight and I don't know if you know the area of the southwest near Bristol uh, but I call this the Four Bridges and we're going to do things in the, in the sim that you can't do in real life well not without losing your license anyway so let's get going uh, well actually sorry I should show you where we are before we take off so Bristol Airport it's more or less due east of Western Supermare and slightly uh, it's south west of Bristol uh, in the southwest of the UK. Uh, so uh, just to um, put things in perspective, where have we gone? I've lost myself now. We're not that far from Glastonbury, if you know about Glastonbury, um, which is on at the moment. Very exciting. There we are, back at Bristol Airport again. And to the north east, um, there is the Clifton Suspension Bridge on the River Avon as it flows towards Avonmouth and the docks and that's where we're going to start so let's get in the air I've done all the pre-flight checks of course <laughs> not really uh, parking brake off um, away we go, see what the wind's like should have checked it beforehand on a couple of the rehearsal flights I'm having to use a full rudder to stay on the runway almost today as well as we start to uh, get in the air that's it we're up yeah there's still a strong crosswind uh, oh and they've got a uh, somebody in the cockpit with me uh, I shall call her Pauline don't know what her real name is well uh, I guess she doesn't mind either way so we're up pointing west and to our left there you can see that's the uh, valley that the uh, 7 runs through I think oh no perhaps not perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself a bit further over but let's turn to the north and see if we can find Clifton Suspension Bridge on the way out gentle rate one turn and there we are heading north towards Bristol it's not too difficult to find because between us uh, over there you can see the, the River Seven or the River Seven estuary uh, and uh, just a bit further up the coast are the docks Avonmouth Docks, which we'll have a look at as we get there. Weather's not very pleasant, it's a bit windy, quite a lot of cloud about, but it's not raining. Just to raise my seat a little bit. Okay. I'm not mistaken. Uh, we 
reservoir is down there? No, perhaps not. There are some good markers in terms of reservoirs and lakes around the airport. Uh, but I suspect down there that's not one of them. But certainly Bristol spread out in front of us. This light patch down to our left, not quite sure what that is. Let's um, have a closer look as we swing by. That looks like some sort of quarry, I guess. Now in front of us, you can see uh, we're looking into Bristol now, into the dock, docks area, in Bristol itself. And on our left, you can see this sort of cleft, it's like... Session cool. November, Papa Lima, leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Uh, here we go. Let's just say... Tower Cessna Golf, Juliet, November, Papa, Lima frequency yes. change. Now there on our left is Clifton Suspension Bridge, so I've come up too close to it. Normally I, I need a bit of a run up. So I'm going to have to make a short circuit so that I can line up, fly under it. <laughs> Very daring. Not something you should normally attempt. Not in a real aircraft anyway. We'll just do a 360. We lose some altitude. Survey a bit of Bristol. bridge. So let's go ahead and fly under it. We're doing about 80 knots. We could probably do with a bit more speed. I don't want to risk. Oh, that's interesting. Water goes over the road down there. I <laughs> don't think that's intentional. You see from here there's plenty of room. The bridge is very nicely modelled. I don't think that's a add-on scenery, I think that, that comes with the sim, as far as I know. Oops. There we are, nicely under it. And uh, you have to keep your wits about you until you get up above the edges of the uh, gorge. Makes quite a sharp left in a minute uh, as we come out of the Itself. There we are. Now we're heading towards the docks. And you can quite clearly see the 7 estuary in front of us. Interestingly, the Clifton Suspension Bridge was built by Brunel in 1831. Now the next bridge we're going to tackle is the one over the M5, uh, not over the M5, over the Avon, over Avonmouth, um, to carry the M5. And you can see it in front of us now. So we'll um, again head down to low altitude and uh, uh, take another adventure. Um, the uh, the um, 
M5 flyover here was completed in 1974. Um, before then, if there was a gap in the M5 and the traffic had to go to Bristol to, to get over the River Avon and come back out again. Right, so we're lined up fairly nicely. Tower Magic Sun 8206, ready to copy IFR clearance to Ferry Haji. Magic Sun 8206 is cleared to Ferry Haji Airport as filed. Take off runway 27 climb and maintain 8,000 feet. Departure frequency is 125.65 squawk 7473. Oh, there we are. Interrupted by uh, that message that wasn't for us. Now, as we as we come out from Magic under the bridge. Magic Sun 8206, cleared to Ferry Haji Airport as filed. Take off runway 27 climb and maintain 8,000 feet. Departure on 101.8.775.7473. Magic Sun 8206 readback is correct. Contact ground on 133.85 when ready to taxi. Good day. Well, as you can see, there are ships in the docks being unloaded. And the cranes on both sides, quite ground well modeled. Magic Sun 8206 requesting pushback. Gives you something else to listen to, of course. Uh, the chatter on the um, uh, from the tower, Bristol. Now we're out over Seven Estuary, and you can see in front of us there is the Prince of Wales Bridge. Uh, we just take a little look along here, along the past the docks. Now it's just a step outside the aircraft. It's easier to see. Go to see directly in front of us now. There's the power station. Ground Magic Sun 8206 with Mike ready to so taxi that's IFR. Sea Bank power station and right behind Magic it. Magic Sun 8206 taxi to and hold short of runway 27 via taxiway Zulu Alpha. Contact tower on 133.85 when ready. Okay, now that's finished. Um, so that's the uh, Sea Bank power station down to our. Right and uh, right behind it, the Suez Recycling. Taxiing short plot. runway 27 using taxiway Zulu Alpha Magic Sun 8206. I'm going to get back in the cockpit and line up for our third bridge of the day. And this is the Prince William, uh, the second seven crossing. Sorry, Prince of Wales Bridge, not Prince William. Uh, it was completed in 1996. So we need to get a bit lower. Faster. Keep an eye on the airspeed. The traffic on the bridge. And a bit of buffering as we go under it. Then in front of us is of course the original Seven Bridge. Uh, that was completed in um, 1966. Skies are clearing to give us a better view. Oh, what does that look like? 
right down there. Tower easy 44, 411 miles northeast, inbound ILS runway 27 approach. Easy 444 tower. Altimeter 29 or decimal 70, wind 181 at 19 er Cleared ILS runway 27 approach. I can see that huge block under the right hand end of the bridge. I'm not quite sure if that's really there or not. Uh. Cleared ILS runway 27 approach easy 444. There's another sailboat under the under the seven bridge and we see the traffic on the bridge again. 80 knots. Get a bit lower. Tower Magic Sun 8206 ready for IFR departure runway 27. Magic Sun 8206 altimeter 29 or decimal 70 wind 181 at 19 er Cleared for takeoff runway 27. fourth bridge. Not the fourth bridge in Scotland of course, but uh, <laughs> the fourth bridge we've flown under today. So we'll take a little trip down the Welsh coast and then cross over to Western Supermare and head back to the airport. I'm absolutely certain that I won't be able to do this in the, uh, uh, in the experience flight that I've uh, got waiting for me. 60 minutes so there'll be plenty of time to do it but I don't see that uh, we'll be allowed to do anything quite as fun as this so we're just going to cross over and go down the, uh, the north uh, on the Welsh coast towards Newport easy 444 four, four, wind 181 at 19er clear to land runway 27 So you can see there's a pier down there, uh, which will be right for Western Supermare. It's also right for Clevedon. I think that might be Clevedon, not Western Supermare. You can see the M M5 behind it. Let's get a bit lower. Have a look at the pier. have to provide uh, a link for that scenery too I guess so um, there's two lots of scenery to add here there's the seven bridges um, which um, uh, you can get from uh, the uh, ubiquitous flight sim.to and it's by uh, somebody who know it goes by the handle of bamboodia easy 422 exit runway when able so that's a free download and there are also several piers, but this is one of them. And uh, I think this is probably not Western Supermare, I think it's Cleveland. But I might be wrong, I often am. Western Supermare is right down there in the distance. And that would be the island. So I'm not quite where I intended to be. Um, those uh, uh, forested areas uh, to our, uh, slightly to our left, somewhere over there, there is a hill fort um, known as Cadbury Hill Fort, and I was hoping to come in across those to be another point of interest. But below us, then, I think this is Cleveland. Sounds really busy over at Bristol. 
So let's uh, get ourselves a slot. Cleared for takeoff runway 27 Ryanair 8234. Tower Cessna Golf, Juliet, November, Papa Lima is 6 miles northwest, 1,100 feet with Mike to land. Cessna Golf, Juliet, November, Papa Lima Tower. Altimeter 29er decimal, 69er wind 178 at 15. Make left downwind runway 27. Fly left downwind runway 27 Cessna November Papa Lima. I'm a bit low and slow really, so I need to grab some altitude and speed up a little. to go, so I'm going to shift around to heading east. That should bring us alongside the airfield. So uh, this forested area here, I think, is called Goblin Coombe. But I could be wrong about that as well. So I hope you're still with me. Um, we haven't been up 60 minutes yet, but uh, I'm hopeful that when we do go up from Bristol, we'll be able to go and see the bridges from the air, perhaps the docks. Depending on what the, um, uh, the rules are in the area. So you can see the two lakes there. They are to the southwest of the airfield. Uh, the airfield Ryanair 823 lines. for contact Manchester Centre on 118.775. Good day. There's our destination. And this is an upgraded version, it's the Payware. Going to 118 the Payware 775 ones. Ryanair 8234. It's quite a good representation of the airport. So to our, the lakes to our left is Blagden, and to our right is um, Chew Valley. Chew Valley Lake. Somewhere over there to our northwest, oh, I can't see it. There's some reservoirs, another landmark that's useful in finding the airport. Oh, there they are, right in front of us. Just to the left of the nose. That's the that's the reservoirs now. So that lake there must be Blagden. The other one over there must be Chew Valley. So I've got them the wrong way around. So I think the smaller one is Blackton, and the bigger one is Chew Valley. Ah, should get my geography sorted out. Oh, we've climbed a bit. You're not supposed to do that, you're supposed to maintain a uh, constant level. I've not been paying attention, and we're up at 3,000 feet. So it's time to start descending. Getting the circuit. Hopefully we'll get a landing clearance. Cessna November Papa Lima, wind 181 at 19er. Clear to land runway 27. Perfect timing. Clear to land runway 27 Cessna November Papa Lima. Very high. Turn onto a 
crosswind leg. And then it'd be Chew Valley to our left and Blackton to our right. Comfortable 80 knots, 75 knots. And shortly we'll be able to turn on to final. you see other aircraft getting ready to take off or hear about one coming in behind you makes it more interesting not today it seems still quite a crosswind so it's going to be difficult to keep this on the runway so the, the wind is coming from South, which doesn't make any sense. I think the wind socks are uh, lying. I think they're reversed somehow. I couldn't hold it at all. Full right rudder. And it just uh, we just found ourselves zooming off the runway. Probably would have caused some damage. Um, Cessna November Papa Lima, did you hear my last transmission? Better acknowledge that. She'll ban me. Going to one tree tree decimal eight five Cessna, November Papa Lima. Don't seem to have. Don't seem to have left rudder control. There we go. What happened there? Obviously the fences aren't substantial. Well, I hope that was entertaining at least. I'm probably just going to leave it on the video. <laughs> so yeah, it's definitely uh, not time for me to uh, start fly for real just yet. I have no idea why we just got pushed off the runway there. But as you can see, there is a strong wind, so I'm guessing it's to do with that. And, uh, had I been able to come off the runway normally and taxi appropriately, um, I would have uh, come on this side of the air airfield, uh, which is where the flying central, where the flying school is. I think that uh, we've been heading for. So there we are. We're at least now back on some tarmac. Just now, I'm going to stop here. And uh, just so you can see, we can uh, hide the yoke. Um, 
Thanks for watching.